deals with a woman's search for her sexual identity. Due to the frank treatment of bisexuality, parental discretion is advised. A woman's life is challenged by a love she'd never known. I feel so close to you and I'm truly lost. We share so much. It's wonderful. How can those two feelings exist at the same time? Gail, how have I failed you? I don't want to hurt you. I am hurt and I am angry. You weren't brought up to be one of those people. What people? I don't want to hear it. I feel like my life is cut up like a jigsaw puzzle. Like I can't make any of the pieces fit. Mariette Hartley, Lynn Redgrave, Barry Newman. My two loves. Next. Tuesday. Let's play ball. There's some major league action going down. Baseball fever. Catch it on Who's the Boss? Then. After work, do you want to have a happy hour with me? <laughs> Balkies, two weeks in America. Hello. Would you smother me with your beautiful American body? That's Cousin Larry going crazy. Perfect strangers. Tomorrow. Let's get the show on the road. Tuesday, fool around. Maddie and Farley sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Hey, it's flattering. With everyone's favorite detectives. Piece of cake. I'm moonlighting. Come aboard. We're waiting for you. Spencer for hire. You're a good reporter. I've seen your work. No. Could a little investigation lead to too much? I tried to seduce Spencer. Tuesday. My Two Loves. Tonight's ABC Monday Night Movie will continue in a moment. An ABC News Brief brought to you by Miller Lite. Now from Washington, Ted Koppel. Good evening. The United States appears to have found a link between the West Berlin terrorist bombing and Libya. ABC's John McQuesty reports American intelligence intercepted messages from Libya to its embassy in East Berlin after the bombing. The messages indicated clear knowledge of details of the bombing. Richard Burke, the American ambassador in West Germany, says President Reagan is studying the possibility of a U.S. military strike against Libya. In Lebanon, May Alias Mansour, the woman suspected of bombing TWA Flight 840 last week, called a news conference to deny any involvement. Defense Secretary Casper Weinberger has met with Philippine President Aquino. Afterward, he said the communist threat in the Philippines is serious, but the U.S. will emphasize economic rather than military aid. Federal agents have broken a cocaine smuggling ring in Virginia. Seven people were arrested and agents confiscated 700 pounds of cocaine. Later on Nightline, we'll look at the most potent and addictive form of cocaine, crack. It's easy to get, and it'll kill many of the children who are taking it. Now this. A can of light beer for me and my friends to go. For the biggest taste, there's only one light beer, Miller Lite. On a bag of nuts. Thanks, guys. The Pentagon today awarded the first research contracts for a new generation of rocket plane. It would fly into orbit above the Earth, traveling at speeds above 14,000 miles an hour, and land at conventional airports. Dubbed the Orient Express, it could fly from New York to Tokyo in two hours. More news later on this ABC station. We are a big family here, from all over the world. China, Yugoslavia, Italy, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Yankees. So we all kicked in at Dala for New York's big lotto jackpot. Oh, right. Right. We hit it! <laughs> An American dream came true. Huh? Yeah! Now we're part of another family. New York Auto Family! Okay, you rich guy. Back to work! Join the family. Play Lotto 48 every Wednesday and Saturday. Angry teacher, wounded student. The story of the loving. And now we continue with my two loves. If I can't have him, I can at least keep you from having him. Share the drama on All My Children Weekdays.
Wednesday. What's next, Alexis? Street walking? My life is on the line here. What would it take for you to give this up? Man, look out! Dynasty. Then, she's losing the battle. And maybe the war. They make a charming couple, don't they? Isn't there more going on between us than... Oh, that's not fair. We haven't begun to explore our feelings, Peter. Hotel. Wednesday. My Two Loves, starring Marriott Hartley, Lynn Redgrave, and Barry Newman, will continue in a moment. A nationwide effort is being launched to fingerprint over 10 million children. Whether it will help reduce the number of missing children is a subject of debate. Some say it's necessary. Others say it will scare kids. Tomorrow, watch ABC's World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Coming up tonight on Eyewitness News, there is trouble inside a Brooklyn public school. We'll hear from an eight-year-old boy on how he got hurt after his teacher allegedly threw a chair across the classroom. And there's new evidence tonight of Libya's connection to recent acts of terrorism against the United States. Mayor Koch has a controversial idea tonight. He says millions of tourists who come to New York for Liberty Weekend should be allowed to sleep in our parks. Coming up at 11, we'll find out what New Yorkers who live near the park think about that. And opening day for baseball, Eli Zarek calls the first balls and strikes of the 86th season. Plus, Clint Eastwood getting ready for Election Day. Join us at 11. Until now, you couldn't buy a douche specially formulated for post-menstrual use. And that's a time when feeling really clean and fresh is most important. Now you can. Now there's new Summer's Eve post-menstrual douche. It's the only one with the natural cleansing ingredient, Natricel, for more effective cleansing and deodorizing, and a balanced pH for extra gentleness. So it's just right for post-menstrual use. New Summer's Eve post-menstrual douche. There's no other douche like it. Do you know anyone who doesn't watch television? Well, probably not. Because network television reaches 99% of the homes in America. Think about it. More people watch a single minute of primetime network television than all the people who attend movies in an entire month. 180 million Americans saw the last Summer Olympics, and 127 million viewers watched the Super Bowl. Network television makes this possible. Thursday. The game begins. Your man, Marshal. Jeff? The Colbys. Any real estate company can sell you a house and say that the wiring's in perfect condition and say the plumbing won't leak. And the central heating and cooling systems ought to last. One real estate company offers the buyer protection plan that helps protect you from costly repairs. ERA. There is a difference in real estate companies. For more information, contact the ERA office nearest you. Who's gonna be at the Silver Bullet tonight? How about a Coors Light? Hey, Arnie. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. What's with this suit? Tonight I'm having dinner with an angel. A little fettuccine, some cheesecake. After that, music, dancing. Uh, oh, Sal, this is definitely the most important night of my life. I'm in love. <laughs> so who's the lucky lady? I don't know. Lou's fixing me up. Good luck. There's no slowing down with a silver bullet tonight. Coors Light Beer. Some dreams are born. I'm going to play Major League Baseball. You only have got one arm. Some dreams are made. Going to the majors, Whitey. You're going to meet Pete Gray in person. I hope he'll like me. And for one boy and his hero. Can you hear him? always use a good hand. Their dream was destined to become an American legend. Mayor Winningham, Dennis Weaver, and Keith Carradine. A winner never quits next Monday. I'm Ted Koppel. Later tonight on Nightline, it's easy to get and it'll kill many of the children who are taking it. Crank, the most potent, most addictive drug on the streets today. This is David Hartman. Do you believe in voodoo? Tomorrow we'll visit a place where almost everyone does. We'll meet a Girl Scout who sold 35,000 boxes of cookies, plus Danny DeVito, Joe Piscopo, and Dolly Parton on Good Morning America. Later tonight, following Nightline, don't miss Eye on Hollywood.